Deer may have been looking for some big bucks when it got inside a bank in downtown St. Louis today. News 11 meteorologist Jamie Travers spoke with an expert with the Missouri Department of Conservation about what might have led a deer to downtown St. Louis. Jamie? Yes, well, Dan, this morning that deer jumped through this window at the UMB Bank here at Broadway and Market Streets. First responders tried to escort the deer out safely, but it was so spooked it ended up jumping out of a second window. And Fox 2 has exclusive video. Downtown St. Louis isn't the ideal spot to go looking for wildlife, but this morning a deer created some chaos. But we do see deer even in the city forest park. It's common to see deer, some of our other big city parks as well. Now a deer downtown like this is unusual, but not unheard of. Go, there's a door open. Even more unusual, a deer busting oh, into a bank. Fox 2 video shows officers trying to guide the frantic deer out an open door, but it didn't go as planned. Oh, there it goes. Once they get that adrenaline going, and I know um, ideally they would have liked to corral it back out through the open door, which was a good effort, but um, it was so panicked at that point in time that unfortunately it just leaped right through another uh, uh, play class window there. <laughs> Urban wildlife biologist Aaron Shanks said this time of year deer are giving birth to new fawns and oftentimes chase away their yearlings or deer born the previous year. And that can be confusing for those young animals that are setting out on their own. And we do see yearlings get into places where they don't belong. The confused yearling likely thrown off by the reflection. Could have seen its reflection, also just the reflection of the sky and the continued landscape and may have gotten confused that that wasn't say a tunnel or, you know, a continued open area. After the young deer escaped, it ran off toward the arch, probably back where it came from, leaving behind blood on the window. I imagine, I imagine the poor thing was injured. I don't see how you go through a window that size two times um, and not be injured. So wildlife have a tremendous ability to recover, though. They're very resilient. Nature can be harsh. It can be cruel, beautiful, but also cruel. And while this kind of event is rare, Shanks said it does happen more often in the fall when bucks are aggressively defending their does and they see and then charge their own reflection. But that's not what happened in this case. Reporting live in downtown St. Louis, meteorologist Jamie Travers, News 11.